Hello again. I promised to uh, make a video also about the electrification of the sidecar. What I've done already a long time ago while working on the bike is that I made a plug here. The plug has nine wires. Uh, I will need only four of them uh, or five. Uh, one is of course the right turn signal. Second is rear light, brake light, earth is five and six will be the wire for the USB here in the sidecar. Um, a seventh wire, if you come close, there's here a yellow wire. It runs to a relay in my headlight. And as soon as this is connected to earth by means of the plug that is going inside here, the, the relay will pull and it will switch off the motorcycle's own turn signal. You see that there's of course in the plug a certain order and I copied this order in a piece of wood. These are two and a half millimeter holes for my 0 0.05 square millimeter wires and they're here in exact the same order except for I have a double brown here in order to make signal to the turn signal switch off relay. Uh, and actually I need two different earths because one is going to the lights and the other is going to the USB charger. I will pull them through the shrink tubing and the shrink tubing will be closed hereby and then all the time move the wood forward and that way they shall stay all nicely in the same order all the time. That's the plan. Let's see how it works out. I've never done it that way. I measured from here how the wires is going to all the supports and where I need to pull it off in order to get inside the body of the sidecar and how long it goes here and how long it's from the rear light to the front light. They have all been measured so I can cut up my wires readily to be in suitable sizes and uh, also the shrink tubing. So let's see if I can fix this. I could have taken a bigger one but I have this size in the longest amounts. It's already through the yellow wire, so I can use the yellow wire as a pull wire. And let's see. If this is too heavy, I can always change to another side of shrink tubing. But I think this is quite okay now. And then start pulling. It's about five, six, seven centimeters. This should be enough to add the plug. Here's my first piece. Now leave this alone and I will shrink it right away, then it's nice. Okay, I found my mistake in thinking because the pulling rod here, the, the piece of wood, will not allow me pulling anything further after the split. So if you want to use this technique, you should actually start from the splitted piece, do one piece up till here do the other from the end up till where they come together and then put your piece of wood starting from the other side and pull the common piece of shrink tubing first over both and then you can get them together but okay my first piece anyway which is also most visible I'm quite satisfied. I spared you all the work of doing the splits and putting the little pieces in. But here's the motorcycle side. It goes over the brace to the back. We go front for the USB. And I have three spare wires which end in the luggage area. Then go to the right, to the back, inside the fender. Here is the rear light and from there on chain forward to the front light. Here's the test fit. No wrinkles here anymore and you can just grab here the socket. I still have to mount the plug and after that of course mount the lights to see if everything works. But All the careful measuring in squares and then um, making the turns in little bends has the benefit that you get about 10, even 15, 20 centimeters 
spare length everywhere and with electrical wires it's always that long is good short is very bad <laughs>